वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 2.129 पॉइंट वन टू नाइन फ्राम मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाई बेर एंड जॉनसन सेवन एडिशन ईच ऑफ द फोर वर्टिकल लिंक्स कनेक्टेड द टू रिजिट हॉरिजेंटल मेम्बर इज मेड अप ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम ई इज सेवेंटी गेगा पासकल एंड हैज़ यूनिफॉर्म रेक्टेंगुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ टेन इन टू फोर्टी मिलीमीटर फॉर द लोडिंग शोन डिटरमाइन द रिफ्लेक्शन एट पॉइंट ई एफ and point g so you can see these are the four links 1 2 3 4 that are connected to two rigid horizontal member and these uh, links are made up of aluminium having e is 70 giga pascal so at point g we have a loading of 24 kilo newton so you have to find the deflection at point e f and point g so let's start with the solution now you can see that due to this loading uh, of 24 uh, kilo newton clear definitely there will be a force exert on this horizontal member in this direction and there is a force on uh, horizontal member in this direction because due to this force there will be elongation in this cd member uh, sorry cf member and there will be a compression in bf member so what we will do is that we will draw the free body diagram from statics clear free body diagram of free body e of efg efg so if i draw it over here so let this is your Uh, point e this is your let's say this is your point f and this is your point g at point g we have a load of 24 kilo newton clear at point f we have a force will be acting on this will be f c d and at point e we will have a force that will be f e b that downward distance from e to f will be equal to 400 mm clear and from f to g this is 250 mm that is given over here now by now we will apply equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point f is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so at point f one moment is due to this f b e and perpendicular distance is 400 mm and that will be counter clockwise so f b e into perpendicular distance 400 mm now you can see we have four two links on each clear so this force will be again this will also two time fbe and this will be two time fcd clear and we will also write two fbe into 400 the other moment that is due to this load 24 kilo newton about point f and perpendicular distance is this and this will be clockwise so we will also write this minus 24 into 250 is equal to Zero. So when you solve this, you will get F B E is equal to seven seven point five kilo newton, or that is seven point five into ten to the power three newton. So this is the value of F B E. now we will apply another equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point e is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive now moment about point e is the first moment is 2 fcd into perpendicular distance is this 400 and this is counter clockwise it will be positive second moment is 24 into perpendicular distance is 650 and this will be in clockwise direction so i will write it two times f c d into perpendicular distance is 400 minus 24 into 250 not 250 it's 650 24 into perpendicular distance is 650 there sum must be equal to 
so when you solve it you will get fcd will be equal to 19.5 kilo newton or 19.5 into 10 to the power 3 newton so this is the value of fcd okay let's move further in order to find the uh, uh, deflection at point e f n g now you can see that uh, this was the force that will be acting on horizontal bar now due to this force 24 kilo newton this member c d this point e will move downward while this point e will move upward because there will be a compression on this uh, members clear so if this is the horizontal line so after load this will move this will like this so this will be the deflection at point f this will be the deflection at point e this this will be the deflection at point e and this will be the deflection at point g so what we will do is that we will find the area for one area of one link so area of one link that is equal to area is given as 10 by 40 millimeter of rectangular cross section so 10 by 40 is equal to 400 square millimeter and that in meter it is equal to 400 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter square now also we know that uh, this uh, length is equal to 300 millimeter length of link length of link l is equal to 300 millimeter you can see here this is the length of the link that is 300 millimeter and that is equal to 0 0.300 meter now you can find out the deformation in link b e and c f so how you can find that so we will write them also deformation deformation in link so link BE so defor de deformation in link BE will be equal to FBE into L divided by E into area. Now you can see this uh, link BE the force in link BE will be compressive one because the force on this horizontal member was downward as a reaction force the force in link be be will be compressive so we will take be as minus 7.5 into 10 raised to power 3 length is 0 0.3 meter divided by e was given as 70 gigapascal 70 into 10 raised to power 9 and area is 400 into 10 raised to power minus 6 so when you calculate it it will be minus 80.35 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter or you can say this deformation in link be is equal to minus 80.35 micrometer you can also find the deformation in link cf and that is equal to fcf into length divided by e into area so fcf is this is fcd not fcd fcf okay let me correct it this is fcf okay so fcf into l fcf is 19.5 so 19.5 into 10 raised to power 3 multiply by length is 0 0.3 divided by 70 into 10 raised to power 9 multiply by area is 400 into 10 raised to power minus 
six. So it will give you two zero eight point nine three into ten to the power minus six meter. Or you can see the formation in CF comes out to be two zero eight point nine three micrometer. Now if I draw if I draw the link so this was deformation at point A at point B E or E this was deformation at point F or C F so we will write deformation or deflection at point E is this and that is equal to mod of BF yeah, BE B E and that is equal to uh, 80.35 micrometer uh, why I have taken mod I will explain it similarly deflection at point F is equal to del F and that is equal to del C F and that is 208.93 micrometer okay or you can also tell this is 20.9 now if uh, I draw horizontal bar as a line there so this was your point E this was let your point F and this was your point G where you have a load at point G so due to this load definitely this point will move certain up and this due to this load it will like this it will be like this beam will be like this so this displacement is del E from this point till this point this displacement is I will choose another color displacement F and from this point till this point this is your displacement G and let this is the theta angle that it meets the slope of the line so from point E till point F the total distance is 400 millimeter and from this point till this point this was 250 millimeter now we will uh, find the deflection of point G so what we will do is that again I have to go upward okay so now you can see that how we will find this theta theta so theta is equal to del E plus del f divided by l e f i will explain it you can see this is the theta so if i draw horizontal line so this will be theta so this theta is equal to this theta s is equal to r theta so if this is the r because you can see this is e f and due to load it moves to this clear so this is the length clear and this is this is theta and this is r clear so you can find this distance now i will show you if i draw our dotted point over here clear you can see this distance is del e while this distance is del f so total distance from here to here this is equal to del E plus del F clear and this is this point E to F is the length L E F clear so by using S is equal to R theta R is L E F into theta is S S distance is del E plus del F. So theta will be equal to this divided by L E F. So that is written over here. Now you can put the value del E is 80.35 into 10 to the power minus 6 plus 
del f is 208.93 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by lef which is 400 and 400 will be equal to in term of meter in term of meter it will be equal to 0 0.400 so when you calculate it it will be 723.22 into 10 to the power minus 6 radian now you have this theta you can see that deflection at point g i will write it deflection at point g is equal to del g and this del g is equal to this point this del g is equal to this del f I will write it del F plus this L E F uh, sorry L F G now from this point you can see this remaining distance from this point till this point this distance is L F G and this is the theta same so this distance will be equal to this distance will be equal to lfg into theta so i will write lfg into theta so you can put lf del f is equal to 208.93 into 10 to the power minus 6 plus lf is 0 0.250 meter and theta is 723.22 into 10 to the power minus 6 radian so you will get deflection at point G comes out to be 389.73 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter. Or this del G is equal to 389.73 micrometer. So in this way we have find out deflection at point E, deflection at point F and deflection at point G. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any question, you can ask me in comment section and those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and keep watching. Thank you.